Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Uh, as this weekend is the British Indoor Rowing Championships, I thought it would be a cool idea for me to put this video together sharing with you guys my typical race day strategy. Um, now this is a strategy that has worked for me over the last couple of years competing internationally both indoor and outdoor and I think it is really important to have a strategy and have your day structured building up to your event. Um, you know you put so much hard work and dedication into your training that it will be a real shame if you don't perform to your maximum on race day because you've missed out a few of these points. Now if you already do some of these uh, points that's incredible. If maybe you haven't thought of one or two of them and you want to start incorporating them into your race day strategy and it brings you success then that's incredible. That is the reason why I am creating this video so let's jump straight into it we're going to start off with my first tip and that will be waking up getting out of bed now it's super important that when you come to race you want your body to be wide awake you don't want to be half asleep stiff and achy so I would always try and wake up at least four hours before my race time and that gives me plenty of time in the morning to sort of wake up uh, have my coffee, have my breakfast, um, stretch, get mobile, you know, just make sure the body is energized and ready to go. If you start waking up sort of two to three hours beforehand, one, you've missed your window for getting in any real fuel that's going to be used for the piece, and two, you're just not going to be ready to race. Your body's still going to be half asleep, you're going to be stiff, you're going to be sore, you're going to be achy. So that brings us on to number two, fuel. As another YouTuber would say, food is fuel. Um, and it's important that you get your food in at the right time. Now, I would always have my last big meal three hours before my first race. And that basically gives your food enough time so it'll get digested and start getting broken up and used into energy. Um, I will snack on that three hour period from having my main uh, meal leading in to my sort of competition. Um, but the snacks would be very small, like bite-sized snacks. And my go-to snack, I guess, before racing, it's just nice and simple. A bit of bread, maybe a bit of jam. You know, you're slow in your quick-release carbohydrate. It's just keeping yourself topped up as you move in towards your race event. So get your main meal in three hours beforehand. Let that digest. You don't want to be seeing it again mid-piece. And as you get close to the event, just little nibbly things here and there, just to keep topping up that energy level. Okay, so moving on to number three, hydration. Now, hydration is so important and it is so easy to keep on top of. I would always say just drink little and often. Don't drink gallons of the stuff because you will end up just peeing it all out in one go. So you want to just drink little and often. Um, if it's dark and yellow and cloudy, then that's a clear sign that you are pretty dehydrated. Uh, if it's nice and clear, then there's a sign that you are hydrated, but you can be overly hydrated, which is when you're sort of going to the toilet every 10 to 15 minutes. You know, you don't want to go that extreme, but Ultimately, you know, you can have a little bit of yellow in it, but you want it to be clear effectively to make sure that you are properly hydrated. And, you know, to put into perspective how important it is to stay hydrated, if you've lost roughly about 5% of your body mass through sweat and dehydration in general, then you can lose up to 30% of your power output. And that is colossal. You know, it, something so easy to keep on top of. If you're not performing, if you're performing at 30% under what you're actually capable of, you know, you're going to kick yourself in the foot for something that is so simple to keep on top of. Number four is the warm-up. Now, the warm-up, again, all these points are super important, but the warm-up, just like the hydration and the nutrition, it usually gets overlooked. Now, the whole purpose of warm-up is to get your body warm, to get yourself sweaty, to start getting that heart rate elevated and get that blood pumped through the muscles, filling them with oxygen, fueling them, getting them ready for what they're about to go through. Now, if you're praying for a 2K or a 5K, you know, you wanna get your body sort of accepting that more explosive dynamic movement so where you wanna lift those stroke rates up into the high 30s, even into the 40s if you're on the 500. But your body's not gonna work efficiently at those rates if it's not warm and prepared it's going to be a shock to the body you know you want to get the lactate system fired up you want to become more comfortable moving at sort of 32 33 you don't want your first taste of 2k pace to be halfway through your 2k you want to practice that just like you do in training all the time you want to practice that in your warm-up you want to condition your body to start moving at sort of 32 33 strokes per minute holding that consistent, I don't know if you're looking to break six minutes and you wanna start holding that consistent 130, 131 through the middle, you don't want that to be a shock when it actually comes to completing your 2K. 
Get it all done in your warm up so you're ready and you're sort of revved up, ready to go. And number five is just make sure that you're mentally prepared. You know, I still get cold sweats at night when I think about a 2K coming up. You just, you can't help yourself. You know it's gonna hurt. You know you've got to dig really, really deep. And you know, it doesn't matter how much you try and sort of glaze over it and say, oh, it's not that important. Oh, I'm just gonna, just gonna use it for a learning experience. You know, it is gonna hurt because at heart, we're all competitive and we all wanna produce the best scores and times that we can. Now, you know, whether it's sort of a mental approach of how you wanna split up your 2K, we can go into that in another video, or if it's a mental approach of just getting rid of those race day nerves, which aren't always a bad thing, you know, nerves are good. You spend this whole time training and competing to get yourself to the level where you can compete at these cool indoor events, you know, enjoy that nervousness. Not many people have the guts to enter these events or have put in the work to put them in a position where they're so nervous because they know that the only thing that's gonna stop them getting a personal best is themselves. So enjoy those nerves, use those nerves to fuel yourself up and just get yourself mentally switched on. You know, you've done everything right leading in to that one race. You know, you've done all the good training, so trust that training. You've put yourself in the bin multiple times and you know, you're only going to do one set, one set piece now and you can always think back to pieces in training that have hurt so much more but you kept going you kept that mental toughness you didn't put the handle down you completed that session and that's what's going to fuel you through this session right now and i say session this piece this 2k piece this 5k piece you know this relay this hour of power whatever it is you're going to put yourself through just Take confidence in everything you've done leading to this point. You know, you've woken up four hours in advance, the body is fired up, it's ready to go. You've loosened off all your joints, you've done lots of stretching, lots of mobility work, you're probably fueled. You had your last big meal three hours ago. You had your last little nibble maybe an hour ago, with some honey and some bread. You're hydrated, you know, you're, you're warmed up. You've gone through that whole process. You've done everything you can to put yourself in the best position to perform at that time. So enjoy it, make the most of it, okay? And that is it, that is as simple as it gets. Yeah, you know, you gotta wake up on time, you need to fuel your body, you need to hydrate your body, you need to warm it up, and then once that's all done, you just mentally need to focus in, okay? It is that simple, trust the training, trust your physiology, and just, you know, as much as you don't wanna believe it, just have fun. You know, you've done all the work, focus in, set the monitor, and just push yourself. It's you against the machine. Don't worry about anything that's going on around you. You focus in on your job and what you have to do and you will get the best result. And if you don't, what have you learned from that experience? Is there anything you would do differently next time? There's always going to be a next time. So don't worry about it. Take that stress and that weight off your shoulders and just push yourself. Enjoy pushing yourself, okay? Now, if you want me to go into any more detail, in any of these sort of five points, or if you're looking to get some last minute coaching ahead of the British indoors at the end of the week, you know, come to Rowley. Uh, about a week and a half ago, we launched a brand new service, uh, virtual coaching. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below this video. If you click that link, you can actually book uh, a time slot on any date. All the availability time slots will be on there. Click the uh, date and time that works for you. Once you've paid up, you'll get a Zoom link and your coach will be waiting. We can go through technique, we can talk through sort of mentality, we can go into more detail about the wake up and the race day strategy and the routines, what sort of food you wanna eat, how to stay hydrated. Literally anything that you're worried about, we can go through and it's there to help you. And there's a great team that will always on hand to help you out. So, you know, the link will be in the description below. Check out Row Elite if you want more help leading into the British indoors. And lastly, good luck and have fun.